Hello guys, my name is Amit Sani and I welcome you on this daily UPSC MCQ series important questions we are discussing here in the morning the Hindu lessons coming and in the evening the MCQ lessons are coming all the important sources we are taking here so these uh, compilations are extremely important let's start the lesson 17th September it is and uh, uh, pocket news app is running on Google Play you can download that regarding all these uh, courses uh, the description is given below the video you can call on these numbers and the chat section is available here PDF you will get here uh, on this Facebook group and Telegram channel you will also find there on both these uh, sources you will get the PDF on Instagram also you can follow me first question Oumuamua what is this issue Oumuamua is is it a African tribe the name looks similar but it is not that not that and it is also not a nuclear facility it is also not a spacecraft by Japanese agency it is actually uh, a kind of a comet there and it's extra solar system object which was seen uh, 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 which is uh, coming together, the, uh, coming towards the sun, and D9 is the right answer here. You can see first known interstellar object means interstellar means between two stars. So solar system is there, and the parent star is sun. So it is the sun's influence within the solar system, but it is outside of that, and it is coming towards sun. And actually, it will not hit the sun, and it will uh, cross the solar system in next twenty thousand years. But uh, uh, when they spotted it in October 17, then they thought that it is a kind of a alien spaceship because the design was very bizarre and uh, they all thought that it's a kind of a alien made object. But now they have confirmed that uh, it's a natural object and uh, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory actually detected this uh, issue and uh, uh, earlier Margo Observatory in Crimea, they spotted a comet which was the first object which came from outside the solar system and as a comet it came but this is a unique one and they thought it's an alien ship so the answer is uh, Oumuamua uh, it's a kind of an object there and in 17 in Halekala observatory in Hawaii which is a very important area there they spotted this strange spaceship shaped object okay so they may ask you about that Saudi Aramco the most important and highlighted issue today that uh, the facility is attacked in Saudi Arabia the largest uh, oil company in the world it is not the largest oil refinery largest oil refinery is Jamnagar Gujarat's Reliance India Limited's refinery Saudi Aramco is the world's largest oil company if you talk about the revenues and their production there and their uh, uh, export of uh, crude oil and all so first is wrong second is correct because it operates Gower field and Safania field these are onshore and offshore fields that it operates and uh, the Akbek facility is there in the uh, desert region of uh, Saudi Arabia and that was attacked there. Saudi Aramco companies uh, facilities are attacked by Houthis group which are there in Yemen because a consistent fight is going on between the Arabian forces and the Houthis uh, forces. So only two is the right answer here and you see it's a, it's a very very important issue. India imports 80% of its uh, uh, oil demands and uh, Saudi Arabia is th is uh, actually exporting 10% oil demand to the whole world means whole world and its 10% is uh, exported by Saudi Arabia only so that's really a huge thing and Saudi Aramco is the state owned largest company in the world by revenue so that's an important issue and uh, uh, it, this, these attacks they have impacted a lot 5.7 million barrel uh, uh, per day the oil is uh, or the oil production is halted and uh, that's why the prices are going very high means uh, within two three days around seven to eight dollars per barrel the price has risen so that's a really concerning thing for India because uh, India imports most of it mean 80 percent of the oil it consumes it imports that so these prices will go up and uh, certainly it is going to be a huge challenge for the government after Iraq Saudi Arabia is India's second largest supplier of crude oil so these important details will be asked economy will be will be affected fiscal balance will be affected and the deficit is surely gonna rise okay next food and land use coalition folu recently it was a news and they actually estimated a important value and that is the hidden environment cost and why that occur because uh, because of our faulty ways the way we are living the way the world is living the urban areas rural areas they are important uh, 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 sustainable or non-sustainable ways the way they are living so a lot of things we are missing here uh, a huge uh, economic loss we are making here and that is hidden environment health poverty cost and they have estimated it around 12 trillion dollar a year and it may rise up to 16 trillion dollar an year 
so second statement is correct and this is wrong because it is not by oecd there are many many important research groups uh, and it is the collaboration of these multiple research groups in the world and in 2017 this uh, food and land use coalition was uh, floated and uh, it's been two years that it is working for the sustainable development goals and other important issues so they are estimating this hidden environment health and poverty cost so they may ask about that upsc focuses on these kind of things because these are not that much famous but these are important so only two is the right answer here and you can see these are the key findings and uh, hidden environment health and poverty cost it may go up to uh, 16 trillion a year and it tells that uh, one third of this world they, uh, the people are malnutrition and the numbers may go by 50 percent by 20 30 year so within 10 days half of the world will be malnutrition if we are not going to uh, uh, change our ways so some reforms it is suggesting here and these are the reform agendas means all these things we need to do otherwise half of the world will be malnutrition within uh, 10 years only that's really scary next nirvik scheme they launched this issue uh, recently some announcements were made so it is uh, regarding that but the announcements were not regarding the msme sector specifically those were regarding export sector the last third announcement by uh, uh, the finance minister there so they supported the uh, uh, the extra ex external uh, sorry the export sector a lot and uh, they talked about some tax cuts there and uh, this uh, important nirvik scheme is regarding the export sector and it is not started by sidbi it is actually by export credit guarantee corporation ecgc which was established in 1957 and it is totally state owned entity okay so they are gonna uh, make these uh, loans and credits available to them and the lending will be smoother according to them so this is wrong and this is also wrong only sorry d none is the right answer because it is by ecgc and you can see gems jewelry diamond sector they are uh, 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 greatly exporting sectors so they are gonna uh, have benefit of it and ecgc has introduced this nirvik scheme to ease lending process okay the details are given here the pdf you will get here next lunar reconnaissance orbiter after the failure of chandrayaan 2 isro is trying to know what happened to this vikram lander there and lunar reconnaissance orbiter this is a very important orbiter around the moon and it the isro is going to take help from this lro to locate that and uh, they have actually located that but uh, more information they want to gather there so its resolution is really uh, 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 very advanced in a, a way because it is by nasa and in 2009 they sent this lro mission and they have a huge plan uh, for the future means uh, human and robots they both uh, will be going on moon surface and uh, for these future missions this lro is going to make an important platform there a knowledge platform there and it will try to know about moon a lot so this lro uh, is going to help isro there in finding the information about chandrayaan 2 and the vikram lander there so it is by nasa b is the right answer here there is a program called vision for space exploration program that was started in 2004 and uh, in 2009 they launched this lro there an important uh, 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 machinery is there and resolution 100 meter resolution is uh, supported by it and it covers 98.2 percent of the area there so uh, it may help a lot okay next in this picture you can observe here how it works and uh, lro is going to help isro there next the India Cooling Action Plan. First of all, it is regarding the the broader goal of uh, 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 this world that we are gonna try that we will not hamper the environment more and more because uh, we need more and more cooling appliances, cooling facilities, and this need is rising. So to stop that need, actually, to uh, make all the reductions in these uh, requirements, we have made an important plan, India Cooling Action Plan. And in March, I discussed this issue in the PIB videos. And uh, this is targeting that cooling demand should reduce by 25% by this year. And the refrigerant demand must reduce by 30% by this important year of 2038. So this is a correct statement. And India is certainly the first country in the world to develop such a document. This ICAP was actually hailed by UN also yesterday on the World Ozone Day, 16 September. So that's why it was a news. So both the statements are correct. See, both is the answer here. 
you can read uh, these all important goals regarding cooling demand refrigerant demand and energy requirements uh, we have these aims here and uh, we need to reduce all of them but it's a challenging task because more and more ACs fridges we need but uh, here uh, the aim is to reduce this demand there so that's really conflicting and how we are going to do that it is the only issue of energy efficiency if we are making more energy efficient devices then this can be possible so this is the goal here next ruble khali as i explained to you the saudi aramco issue saudi aramco's important gated facilities there in the ruble khali desert so it is there in saudi arabia not in iran so this is wrong and certain it is the largest contiguous sand desert in the world and uh, if you only talk about the uh, largest desert then it is the second one so first the biggest one is there in uh, northern africa and second one is there in arabian peninsula but uh, Allah, uh, as a contiguous sand desert which is called urg it is the largest one in the world so this is wrong second is correct only two is the right answer here and you can see uh, it is the larger part of uh, arabian desert there rubal khali where these upcake facilities there and yemen country oman country uae qatar and saudi arabia so that's uh, that's there today and we'll meet again tomorrow with the many more questions. Thanks a lot. Keep watching. It was a bit sunny. Rubal Khali, the empty quarter. Thanks a lot.